اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم قدعب آل فرعون والذین من قبلهم کفروا بآیات اللہ فاقذہم اللہ بذنوبهم ان اللہ قوی شدید العقاب ذالک بین اللہ لم یک مغیرا نعمتا انعمها علا قوم حتى یغیروا ما بانفسهم وان اللہ سمیع علیم صدق اللہ العظیم In all the Madani surahs that we have already studied, Surah Al-Baqarah, Surah Al-Ibran, Surah Al-Nisa, Surah Al-Maidah, there were addresses to the Muslims, then references and address to the Munafiqeen, and then the Bani Israel, the Jews, the people of the book. So here in this surah also, now there is a reference to the Jews. قَدَابِ عَلَى فِرْعَوْنَ وَالَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ Like the manner of people of Fir'aun and those before him. كَفَرُوا بِعَيَاتِ اللَّهِ They disbelieved the revelations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَأَقَدَهُمُ اللَّهُ بِذُنُوبِهِمْ So Allah seized them due to their misdeeds and sins. إِنَّ اللَّهَ قَوِيٌّ شَدِيدُ الْعِقَابِ Verily, certainly, Allah is قَوِي all powerful, all mighty and he is very severe in punishment. Now this one ayah refers to all the stories of the messengers of Allah that appeared in Surah Al-Araf but making more apparent reference towards Ali Fir'aun. But actually the people of Nuh, the people of Hu, the people of Saleh, the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah to whom Hadrat Lut was sent, then people of Shaib, and then Ali Fir'aun. But because this Ali Fir'aun really, they had special relationship with the Jews because the Jews were persecuted by them. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala delivered and saved them from their persecution. So actually now he has been singled out, Fir'aun and his people. Qadabi Ali Fir'aun. But it actually refers to all the nations who were destroyed because they didn't accept the da'wah of the messengers of Allah who were sent to them. This is because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't change the favor with which he has blessed any nation. Unless they change what is in their souls. This is a very permanent law of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sunnatullah. And we shall read it because you know Surah Al-Raad and Surah Al-Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam in this in these two surahs this subject will be discussed in detail. La yugayyiru ma bi qawmin hatta yugayyiru ma bi anfusayin. Whatever is in your souls you have to change it. If you don't change what is within your souls the conditions will not change. And this is the biggest blunder that all the Muslim movements of today, the so-called jihadi movements, they are missing the point here. Before purifying the souls of the people, they want that the system should be changed. How can the system be changed? The inner personalities of the people should be changed first. Their thinking should change. Their value structure should change. What did Muhammad do? I am going to discuss it tomorrow in detail. What was the process for revolution? How he revolutionized the whole society and the whole country, rather the whole peninsula of Arabia. He changed the souls of the people first. Their thinking, their structure, their beliefs, their value structure, everything was changed. So you have to change people from within. As I quoted many a times, a couplet from our Lama Iqbal that this Quran when it penetrates the inner soul of a person he is changed from within and when the inner personality of a person changes first of all the whole world changes for him because now his point of view has changed and then this is the beginning of a revolution so this is very important. Allah 
اللہ از آل ہیئرنگ آل نوئنگ گداب علی فرعون الدین بن قبل اگین ریفرنس ٹو دی ہول ہسٹری آف دی میسنجرز اف اللہ اینڈ دیئر نیشنز ہو ار ڈومڈ کذب بی آیات ربہم دی ریجیکٹڈ بی لائڈ دی ریولیشنز اف دیئر لارڈ ایز ویل ایز دی میریکلز دیٹ ور شون ٹو دیم آیات یو نو ایٹ کورس بوتھ دی تھنگز بیکاز دی ٹیچنگز اف دی پروفٹس دے ار آلسو آیات اف اللہ ریولیشنز آیات القران دی ار آیات بٹ آلسو یو نو The miracles that were given to Hazrat Musa alayhi salatu was salam, nine of them. وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا مُوسَىٰ تِسْعَ آيَاتٍ بَيَّنَاتٍ Nine clear signs were given to, and we have read them in Surah Al-Araf. كَزَّبُوا بِآيَاتِ رَبِّهِمْ فَاهْلَقْنَاهُمْ We destroyed them. بِزُنُوبِهِمْ Due to their sins and misdeeds. وَاغْرَقْنَا آلَ فِرْعَوْنَ وَكُلُّنْ كَانُوا ظَالِمِينَ And we drowned the people of Fir'aun. And they were the evil doers, the transgressors. In the sharrat dawab in the lahi lazina kafar. Verily, the worst of the beasts on earth, animals on earth, are those humans who make kufr. What is kufr? I discussed it. You know this testimony of. that allah is here allah is our lord this testimony is in our souls our souls testify to it we had that firm covenant with him alastu bi rabbikum qalu bala we have read it in surah al-araf so that you know testimony our souls has it in it but we suppress it why due to our vested interests due to our positions we are the leaders so they suppressed Kufr means to to hide something. Kufr, to do away with something, to reject something. All these are the meanings of this this word kufr. In the shadow of the law, they in the law, they do not kafir. For whom law you mean? Because they have already suppressed the testimony of their nature within themselves, they are not going to believe. Whatever you do, O Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, or whatever you do, O Muslims, 